A former Albany reporter on Friday became the seventh woman, damn, I didn't even know it was that many, to accuse Andrew Cuomo of sexual harassment, adding to a growing pile of allegations against the embattled New York governor. Jessica Bakeman, who worked as a state house reporter, detailed a number of instances in New York Magazine in which she says Cuomo harassed her. Bakeman prefaced her accounts by saying that Cuomo has put his hands on my arms, my shoulders, the small of my back, my waist, throughout her time as reporter, as reporter in the Capitol. I know I'm going to have somebody get upset at me laughing. I, I, I don't know what she means by the small of my back. I, I thought that was phrased in a comedic way. Uh, Bakeman wrote of one encounter in 2014 in which she went to briefly speak with Kumo during a holiday party in which he allegedly ended up mocking her in front of her colleagues. He took my hand as if to shake it, then refused to let go. He put his other arm around my back, his hand on my waist, and held me firmly in place while indicating to a photographer he wants to pose for a picture, she wrote. I was wrong to believe this experience would last for just a moment, keeping his grip on me as a, I practically squirmed to get away from him. The governor turned my body to face a different direction for yet another picture. He never let go of my hand, she continued. Then he turned to me with the machine a mischievous smile on his face in front of all of my colleagues and said, I'm sorry, am I making you uncomfortable? I thought we were going steady. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Bakeman recounted another instance in 2012 when she attended a press gaggle with Kumo. The only opening in the circle was right next to the governor. So I hovered outside the perimeter and listened without pausing his ant his anecdote, anecdote, whatever. He took his, he took my hand, pulled me into his body he absorb her and put his arm around my shoulder he left it there and kept me pinned next to him for several minutes as he finished telling his story i stood there my cheeks hot giggling nervously as my male colleagues did the same we all knew it was wrong but we did nothing she wrote she added that she did not believe kuma was interested in her sexually but was asserting his power as governor i never thought the governor wanted to have sex with me it wasn't about sex it was about power he wanted me to know that i was powerless that i was small and weak that i did not deserve what relative power i had a platform to hold him accountable for his words and actions bakeman said uh so more Democrats are coming out and saying that Kumo should be gotten rid of. That includes Gillibrand and um, Schumer, the Senate Majority Leader. And I guess it's like the what ha ends up happening is one or two people will come out and I'll say, okay, let's treat it in a neutral manner. Let's get some proof. And then it's like this swarm. It's like moths to a flame. You get one or two of them to say he did something. And then more and more start coming. And with her, um, I find this one more interesting than the other ones because there's a lot of, I guess, descriptive details. But it's that same thing where it's like you didn't say a word about this. Let's see, the one of them was in 2014, so that's seven years ago. One of them was in, well, I guess, eight years ago, technically, uh, depending on what had happened. And another one is from 2012. So it took you almost 10 years to say that he did this. And like I said, I'm, I just want proof. Um, it's gotten really ridiculous to me because again, people just come out with these stories, uh, and some people admit to believing them without any proof. So I just, I, I want some kind of, um, uh, it's like if there's seven people that he did this to, I, I think somebody should be able to find a way of giving some, some evidence instead of just people flapping their gums and saying, Hey, believe me because I'm a woman. So if he did it, he should be gotten rid of. If he didn't, they should get in trouble for this, but they won't. Hey, remember the American justice system, guilty until proven innocent.